Okay, looks like we are recording this. My special guest this time is Ernie Hines. Ernie Hines, also Madison High School, class of 1971. How would you describe the Madison High School class of 71, Ernie? Were we the best class around? Impeccable. Impeccable. Now, what what does impeccable mean? Uh, we were the best at everything. Uh, we didn't have a problem backing it up. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, let me uh, ask you a question first. Uh, wheel night, Max. This is really, I think, a, a great great way to do this. Uh, what do you think about wheel night? You're you're a regular here. Yeah. At wheel night. Yeah, I uh, I uh, I first got involved. And I enjoyed it, and I still do. Well, the sad thing is the people that are not here with us anymore. Yeah. And now, now, which ones? When you say that, which ones come to mind? Which into your mind? One and, right off the bat. That's Kurt. Kurt Janicek. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, Kurt, in in many ways, might have been. I wasn't that close with Kurt, but. We certainly did hang out. We did have a lot of classes together. Um, and I think Kurt's death was uh, a bit of a surprise to a lot of us. Was it a surprise to you? Absolutely. Okay. And have we ever heard the cause of death there? Have you, have you heard anything? I have no, not. Nothing etched in stone. My understanding, it was a heart attack. Okay. And it was at night, right? It was in, in his Probably sleep, in his apparently. Sleep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kurt Janicek uh, was a, a, a favorite of everyone uh, in our class. Um, the one that, that still sort of uh, affects me a lot uh, was, there's two of them, but the first one would be, I think, the first one who went right after we got out of high school. Do you know who that was? Bob Powell. Bob went after we got out of high school? Right, out, right after a high school. Okay. Uh, a motorcycle accident. I was thinking it was while we were in high school, but my uh, bad. Yeah, I think it was right after, and I could be yeah, wrong but you were, and you were tight with Bob. I, I, no, a, a no. A lot tighter than I was. No, no, actually I wasn't, wasn't that tight with Bob. Okay. But I think the thing that affected me was the fact that we were still pretty young, and he was gone. Yeah. Um, that kind of hits home, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, um and I can still remember Bob Pollock. Uh, uh, I think it was when we when we moved into the new high school um, over Christmas break. And I think I can remember walking by the art room. And I remember Bob was always playing Layla. You know, era, uh, Derek and the Dominoes, Eric Clapton. Right. And that's one thing I usually remember about people more often than anything. Mm -hmm is their musical preference for some reason. I may not remember your last name, I may not remember your middle name, but I'll remember your musical preference for some reason. And so I always think of Bob in that respect. I think the other one also was Diane Cockrell, uh, who that. D died of breast cancer uh, right after our 10th reunion. I, I never made it until the 30th, but I opened up the paper and read it, and it, you could have knocked me down with a feather. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I thought the world of Diane. We worked at Broadfield Manor together. Oh, okay. And that's how I got to know her and everything. Yeah. yeah it, was, it was awesome. And, you know, 38 years old. I'll never forget that. She was 38? Yeah, that's what the obituary said. Oh, I thought, it, I thought it was much younger. I thought it was more like 28. But it, that's how time <laughs> affects the mind when, you're, when all of us are about 65. We're all around 65 now. Madison High School, class of 71. So, uh, Ernie, let me ask you a question to kind of st stump Frank, at least for a moment. You know, you've come to a lot of these reunions. We see you at the, uh, the wheel night, the all-class reunion. I've seen you at our reunions. What one classmate have you not seen in, like, forever that you wish you would run into? That's a good one, Stu. You didn't tell me you were going to do this, Stu. No, I didn't tell you anything when we started here. <laughs> That's a good one. If you'd like me to come back to that, maybe you can ponder that while we're talking, or... Uh... Well... In hindsight, I'd say Keith Morgan. Keith Morgan. Yeah, we have not seen Keith in a while. 
The last time I saw him, I accused him of being his old man. <laughs> he was bald and getting gray and everything. And I'll take that back. Last time I saw him, I was just married. Okay. So that's been 25, 30 years ago. The only, the last time I remember seeing Keith was at uh, D. Robertus's at one of the class reunions, which was probably, might have been the 10th. All right. Uh, that was the last time I think I saw him. I talked to him on the phone after that sometime. But um, uh, he was there and he had, him and maybe his wife were either running a triathlon the next day or did the day before or something. I remember they were training for triathlons. And Keith, I know, is a uh, an accountant of sorts, and he was actually one of the accountants for a, a plant out in Rock Creek near where I live. And I, I don't know what the name of that plant is now. It used to be Rock Creek Aluminum. And I would occasionally contact Keith about if he comes out there to do some auditing or something, maybe we could get together for dinner. And I don't think we ever quite made it. But... Um, um, Keith lived in my neighborhood uh, when we were kids for a while, so uh, that's that's the thing. So um, so Keith Morgan then, yeah, it's been yeah we were we were tight in school. Mm -hmm. Actually, he could not find his sister Barb the day of the Kent State shooting. So the day after he called me and we went down there, he couldn't get a hold of his folks or Barb, so we went down there. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, I remember that story. I remember you telling me that story. Yeah, they were they were afraid that that they were shot, that they were hurt. Well, Keith had never been in a fight in his life, and he's going to the hot spot in the United States. I'm going with him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Keith lived uh, at least for a short while. He lived the next street over from me. That was probably our, our senior year. I remember his dedication to uh, wrestling. Oh. Uh, and Ernie, I know you were you were um, you even went to see Coach Moline in the yeah. hospital. Um, when I was out teaching at Edgewood High School, I did the last seven weeks of school out there. I did not realize that Coach Moline, Gene Moline, uh, went to Edgewood. Did yeah. you know that? Oh yeah. Oh, you did know that. Okay, and actually, his picture was in the display case there. In fact, I took a picture of it. I think I still have that on my phone. And if I think of it later, I'll show it to you if I, if I have it. Um, but his picture is in there. He was voted into Edgewood's um, Hall of Fame. He uh, deserved it. Oh, absolutely. He had a, a hell of a record and a, a, a great leader for... Uh, uh, he was hell of a man that, you know, that I learned a lot from. Yeah. I only had him for gym class, but I know he was, he was good in gym class. He was a good gym class teacher. I do, I bet I know. Artie Urbanek and I were hall monitors our senior year. He walked by me and said, nice bad Friday. I just said, I got lucky, Coach. I got Coach to do a 180. He came around and said, when you come from behind, luck has nothing to do with it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, wise words, you know. And his son, did his son, uh, did he wrestle for Geneva? I believe he did. I got to meet his son at, at Coach Fielder. And what was that, like A.J.? Moline I or something it was like AJ that. Moline, yeah. AJ or some letters, as I recall, it was AJ, right? I, think, yeah. I think he had a really good career there. Well, um, he had a really good. But uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you like it much better here than at, at the, uh, the 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 winery in Geneva? Did oh, you yeah. ever? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the atmosphere is just conducive to us. Well, I was a baseball coach for 26 years, too, and there's nothing like home country. We get home. Yeah, you know. yeah. Next door is nice, home great. So you're, you, are you living still in Painesville? Yes. Okay, now do you see any classmates regularly? Regularly, no. Okay. Last classmate I saw, I can't remember. Last... The last person I saw from school was Rick Balder. Uh, that was at Kurt's that, that funeral. Oh, okay. Oh, you were at Kurt's funeral? Yeah, I, I called you to see if you were going. You said you weren't going to be able to make it. I walked in, Rick Balder was there. Oh, okay. Rick, me and Rick talked. 
Quite a bit about it. Rick it? actually called me recently when a uh, when a picture showed up on uh, on the internet somewhere. Uh, the picture of uh, of uh, Dale Rumberger's brother. What was his name? Buddy. Buddy and uh, Terry Pod and Steve Creel. It was a picture of them the day before the um, the uh, uh, the uh, accident, accident, the yeah. accident on the on the river, and uh, uh, Rick called me, uh, got a hold of me on my home phone, which is not easy to do, and was kind enough to let me know about that picture, and to get a hold of Dale Rumberger and tell him about the picture to see if Dale even knew it existed, and uh, Dale was already familiar with the picture, and I, we get a little protective sometimes. And I think Rick was that way. Rick didn't want to upset uh, Dale in any way. No, he was. And uh, uh, so uh, I tried to, to, and I wasn't sure, you know, how Dale would take it. But Dale, you know, Dale's an adult. We're all adults. We've all seen death. Uh, some of us are almost immune to it now. We've seen it so much. So, um, uh, but it was really nice of Rick to give me a call. Something I just really really did not expect and it was good to talk to him too. Yeah, and Rick is a great guy. Yeah, yeah. So, yep. I'm, I'm thrilled to say he's both for us. So, so uh, I know in Painesville we've got quite a, we got quite a few classmates in Painesville. Uh, can you name any of them? I can name a few. Those that I know. Uh, Chris Smith, Christine Smith. Oh, yes, you're right. right. She lives across the freeway from me. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen her in years. Is she uh, I think emailed me recently or text, texted me or something. Yeah, she works at Lubazov. I think she's retired. Well, good yeah. for her. And then, uh, 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 let's see, I believe it's Jamie Balston. I have not seen Jamie in Painesville. Yeah, I think, I think he's in Painesville. Um, those are the only two, really, that come to mind here, here quickly. Um, I know... Uh, Rosemary Van Bleet is in Mentor, I believe. Okay. Um, I hear from her occasionally. Uh, she was upset when uh, when Sam Black passed away. Uh, Sammy uh, passed away. What? Maybe has it been a year ago now? Maybe. 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 So, um, uh, what do you have that you'd like to talk about? Anything that comes to mind? Some a shout out that you'd like to say to somebody or a classmate. Hopefully, we're going to have lots of viewers and. Well, I hope so too, Stu. I mean, you know, that's that's the goal. We're well, going to well, try to. Have what you've done to this point is absolutely amazing, and if I may say so, wonderful. I enjoy it beyond words. Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, oh, well, not as much as I appreciate opening up your newsletter. <laughs> and, and well, I'll tell you what. I read it from when we were back in high school, and I remember you back there well. <laughs> So, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I do, I read it from a different angle than most people would understand. Yeah, yeah, we did it. We had a lot of classes together. Yeah. Um, who, who was a close friend from high school other than than uh, Keith that that uh, that you haven't seen in a long time? Can, that would be Alex Hine. Alex Hine, yeah. Yeah. Now, Alex was over here. Um, he was here a couple years ago. Was it last ago. Two, two years ago? I think two years ago. I think so, too. I don't think he was here. I think it was two years ago. I think you're right. I don't think he was over here. Yeah, because he and Shirley were both here. Yeah, yeah. And I got a chance. Did you, and, you, and you saw him and got a chance to oh, talk yeah, to him. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, inspiring to see him. Uh, uh, and, and Shirley is just amazing. Well, I'll tell you what, Stu. The class of 71 is inspiring itself. And others just got caught in our fallout. <laughs> Somebody what? Others just got caught in our fallout. <laughs> you know, and I, but I'm thrilled with that. Yeah. Well, everybody thinks their class is the best. I think. Um, I, I think our class was very good. Uh, you know, I, I, I hesitate to. Uh, you know, it's kind of like, you know, people love their country. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. I'm an American. I love my country. But you know, people in Sweden love their country too. You know, so I don't. I try not to be too egocentric about these things. Well, no, because in the long run, in the big picture, I was asked one time what my nationality was, and I said I was a Muslim. 
Well, we're all in this together, like it or not. So are you going to be doing the DNA thing and find out your ancestry and all no, that? No, it would scare most few people on this planet. Well, what, are, you, are you suggesting maybe, what would you suggest is your background? Like reptilian alien, would you say? More like a cloud. A cloud? Yeah. That's not an intimate object. But it's in motion, so... Oh, okay. As long as you stay in motion, you're There's, doing okay? We have no proof that I'm an animate object. You're taking that just because we've known each other for a long time. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, so any more shout-outs out there to uh, any classmates? Uh, any uh, Anything you'd like to say in closing here, Ernie? Yes. Okay. To all of my classmates, thank you and have a happy tomorrow. Well said. Thank you, Ernie. Tomorrow is not guaranteed to anybody, but it is inevitable to everyone. So enjoy tomorrow. Tomorrow is a gift. I'll tie the ribbon. Very good. Ernie, thank you, sir. My pleasure, Steve. It's been a, 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 my pleasure, and I hope uh, we get a few viewers and, and we can make this a sort of a regular thing. It, the one thing that I regret is I'm not out there mingling with everybody. Uh, but uh, when they find out about this, they'll be jealous. Uh, I don't know about that. I, I, I just hope enough people enjoy it well, that, uh, that, so. uh, that we'll have a good time with it. So we're gonna we're gonna keep on trucking until uh, the numbers, you know, tell me I'm wasting my time. So uh, if that should happen. Well, you know numbers. I know that. Uh, yeah. I, you I, do know numbers. I do know my numbers. Yep. All right, Ernie. Take care. Thank you, Thank sir. You very Thank much. you. Yep. We'll catch you out there.